when you're making a, a determination about a, a candidate to personally vote for or to uh, support, is their religious faith a matter of consideration for you, and do you believe it should be a matter of consideration for your parishioners? It's a small matter. It's not a large matter. Because, uh, for example, in a small matter, I'd rather vote for an atheist than an agnostic. Oh, it takes a lot of faith to be an atheist. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and at least they're firm you know, in their belief. And so it helps me, you know, to know, well, I, I know where you stand. You know, an agnostic, I'm not sure. Uh, but no, our country, the United States of America, allows religious freedom. Mm -hmm. And therefore, all persons, regardless of their faith, their beliefs, have a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, is that built on a foundation that I believe comes out of religious traditions? Yes. But at the same time, the founding persons of this nation made a conscious decision. They made a few mistakes in those conscious decisions, but they made, <laughs> made a conscious decision in this area to say that a person's religious beliefs are really not a qualification for leading this country. I think that was wise. I think we have grown into that. And uh, so while it's a consideration, it's not a heavy consideration.